Yo, check it out. I got solar panels. And I mounted them without drilling any holes in the roof of my Suburban. Check it out. Let's go. So this will be a quick one. This has been a year out. I've had them mounted and they're all solid still. Let me show you. I'm actually shaking the truck as I move them. Talk you through what I did and it's actually pretty easy. I wouldn't say this is the cheapest way to do it, but it's worked out great for me. So here we go. So as you can see, there's not a lot of tolerances here. I was really more concerned with generating enough electricity. So I put as many solar panels as I can. And I actually found this other brand and I'll put the links in the description below. It's stainless steel, three inch bracket. And this was so clutch because it just barely clears my roof rails. And, and that allowed me to get one more full solar panel. Here's what it is. I used VHB tape, believe it or not. It's really cool. Bunch of VHB tapes. And if you go line by line, there's one specifically designed for, it says it right there. Metal on metal under high dynamic stress. I was like, that's sweet. And that sounds good. But I'll link to the exact number of VHV tape that I used, as well as the 3M document that lists all of them. And you can check it out, read about it for yourself. And then came back and covered it with the Turnabond tape on top. And that just project, protects it from moisture and things like that. Cool. And I'll give a shout out to Hobotech. I'll link to a couple of his videos, his install video, as well as his three year review video of doing it this way. But yeah. And then on the middle ones, it's just one strip and it worked out just fine on like the edges where the curves, the roof starts to contour. I just stacked little little pieces of it, little strips, like three stacked on the end, two in the middle, and then one on the inside. So it kind of created a little slope, and that allowed me to reach the contour, and it's fine. It's I, I mean, they're all solid. I ended up actually doing six brackets per um, solar panel, and I do have, here's my housing where they go in. For that, I did end up drilling a hole in the roof. At least for just the mounting of the solar panels, none of it's drilled. All of these go to a big blue eddy. That's been a beast. Um, it's the AC200P. And then these are all 80 watt panels. And so that gives me a total of 240 watts of solar here on the roof. So I put this little wind fairing on the front. And it's actually a stick-on visor from that's intended for sunroof i used some eterna bond to help out real good yeah so that's it just get the right exact specific vhb tape i end up using two rolls which gets a little pricey but gets the job done wipe everything down with rubbing alcohol before i put it on there and then just line it all up do the little layering of the vhb tape so it can match the contour of the roof of your vehicle and you're good to go other than that, thanks for watching, good luck, and I'll see you all in the next one.